Good day, Junior Techies. I'm Mrs. Brimacom. We are now going to look at Chapter 8, Inventories, Activity 4. Playball Crafted. Playball sells one type of pool table, accessories and pool cues. The owner is Mr. Past. The financial year in the 28th February 2022. The business makes use of a periodic inventory system. So if we look now at the information given to us, we have the business uses the following methods to value their stock or pool tables, specific identification, accessories, weighted average. So here is an example of an activity where we're looking at two different items and those items are valued using specific identification and weighted average. Question 4.1. Calculate the following regarding pool tables on 28 February 2022. So we need to calculate the carriage on purchase, closing stock and cost of sales. So if we start with the carriage on purchase, make sure that you read the information. They've provided us opening stock purchases. And then they said the cost price includes the carriage on purchase. The total cost of transporting the pool tables amount to 5% of the unit cost. This means if I want to find out the carriage on purchases, we have to take the opening stock, the total amount, plus the purchases, because that will include the carriage. I want to calculate what is the total amount paid for transport. This is why we're going to say divided by 105 times 5. To calculate the closing stock, if I look at my opening stock, remember this is specific identification. Opening stock is 15 units, units sold 15, which means there's nothing left over. Purchases, in April we purchased 70, units sold 70, nothing is left over from the April purchases. October, number of units, 120 were purchased, 115 were sold which means that we've got five left over. Five times the unit cost equals the closing stock of items purchased in October. In January, 84 were purchased, 78 were sold, which means that there's six left over times the cost equals the total closing stock on items purchased in January. So to work out the total closing stock, take 51,450 plus 64,260. To calculate the closing cost of sales, it's my opening stock plus purchases, minus the closing stock, which we calculated. Make sure that you use your answer in the previous question when calculating the cost of sales. To calculate the closing stock in RAND with regards to accessories on 28 February, remember that accessories, we need to use the weighted average price. To work out the weighted average price, it's my opening stock plus purchases plus carriage on purchases minus they said three accessories purchased in February were taken for personal use by Mr. Pass. This means we need to subtract it. This will provide us with the average price. Now we need to times it with the number of units left over. They said 88 
were left over, so this equals the total value of our closing stock. The owner, question 4.3, is concerned that he is not controlling the stock of accessories effectively. Provide a calculation to support his concern. So if we look at this, we need to look for, is there any items missing? To find that out, what is the number of stock available? Opening stock plus purchases minus the free accessories that were taken for personal use. The number of items sold, they said specifically 1,715. So stock available minus sales equals 109. Our actual stock, there's only 88 left over. We should have had 109, which means that there are 21 items missing. So how could he improve his control? Count stock regularly, randomly, and check against the records. Order smaller quantities, but more frequently. Improve the physical security. Controls at the entrance. Security cameras. And also, we can restrict the access to the storeroom. Question 4.4. Explain why the business uses different valuation methods. If we look at pool tables, pool tables have a high value and smaller quantities are purchased. Pool tables can be monitored individually. But if we look at accessories, accessories are sold at low value. Accessories are purchased in larger quantities. So this is just reasons why the business uses different valuation methods. Question 4.5, identify one problem related to pool tables. What advice can you give Mr. Past? So if we look at what is given to us, the unit price, every single time that we've purchased, that price went up. And now if I look at the number of units that were sold or a pool table which is sold, at a fixed price of 15000 per unit. So our cost is going up, yet our fixed, our selling price is fixed at 15000 per unit. So that is my potential problem. What advice could you provide for owner? The owner needs to use a fixed markup percentage instead of a fixed selling price. It means that if the costs go up and we use a markup, the selling price will go up as well. Question 4.6. Mr. Past is thinking of employing an assistant at a wage of 7000 per month to control the stock of pool accessories. Explain why this is not a good idea. Provide two points with figures and calculations. So if we look at the first point, the wages will be 7,000 per month. Over 12 months, that is 84,000. The number of units that were missing were 21. And the value of our closing stock, sorry, the average price, not the value, the average price was 162, which means that the total value of the missing stock is 3,402. So the wages will exceed the cost of the missing units. So that's why it's not a good idea. Point number two, the units missing are 21. Units available was 1,824. So the percentage is 1,2%. So units missing are very small percentage of the units available. So we just need to make sure that we sharpen up on our internal control procedures with regards to our inventories instead of employing another person. Thank you very much. Next, we're going to look at activity five. I want to leave you with this quote. There is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. Hope you have a wonderful day.